Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. So is Big Brother Level Up Reunion Day 7. Okay, this is actually the last part of the video. It's about Elivaye and um, Chichi. Well, somehow Fina and Groovy in it. Okay, because um, you remember that they had a party when Elivaye stepped on Chichi, it looks like pre planned because before the you know, before then we saw the planning with, with level two against level one, and Chichi was dancing with Groovy, and then Groovy is supposed to be Fina's um guy in the house, and Elivaye went to do the fight, went pushed Chichi aside, stepped on her toes, poured her drink mistakenly, and stayed dancing with Groovy. Later went to bring Fina and all that. You know, Fifi, I'm um, sorry, Chichi kept talking about that incident in the house. Ebuka brought it up and asked, okay, Benny, what's up? Were you, we, was it premeditated or you were acting at the moment? Libaya just explained something that did not make sense to herself and we, the viewers. Because, I mean, you will see that she's just trying to say a lot of gibbish. The way she was just, I can't remember who was there. Narrating that it wasn't a big deal since she usually goes to dancing between housemates and her final likes groovy. She saw Fina standing with her groovy, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, you know, all that. And she went there to them, but we all saw what happened. But nevertheless, owning up to your shit is beautiful. But then again, I feel she's still angry at Chichi because another incident happened between her and Chichi at Pepsi, whatever. Then she again stepped on Chichi's toes. The funny thing is how she keeps saying and I apologize, like I'm supposed to pro um, provoke you and always apologize. Then Rachel talked about her rider thing, how difficult it was for her. In lockdown, she was alone and came in as a rider, everybody was spared, how she tried to truly blend in. So these are some reactions on social media with regards to this. Ilibaye, however, was trying so hard to feel like the queen, but the viewers didn't really want to have any of that which was that what explained her early exit from the show. And even now, eight months later, I can see why she never really got far on that show. Really, because the way, the way she was just explaining something that did not add up and still telling Chichi that she was, Chichi was lucky she left the house. If she was in the house, when Chichi was saying all those things about her, that Chichi wouldn't have liked what she would do. And Ebuka was like, I don't understand. Have you not seen her since then? What would you have done? You know? Well, Elibaye, to me, I don't think it was an issue for me for pushing Fina away to dance with Groovy. It's supposed to be pushing Chichi away to dance with Groovy. And now stepping on Chichi, I was perhaps drunk at the time. Yeah, she actually mentioned that she, she was tipsy so that she didn't actually even know. That was one thing again Elibaye mentioned. Okay, so of all the people at the Pepsi event outside the show, it's only Chichi that Elibaye still could step on. This liar expects us, to, expects us to believe it wasn't intentional. She can keep crying the market woman. Uh -huh, Elibaye said Chichi called her a market woman when she was trying to apologize for stepping on her in the club in the house when she actually pushed her away from Groovy to dance. And Chichi didn't really, she felt like Chichi didn't really buy the apology because Chichi felt it was planned. Like, you told me sorry, but you went out to push me away, went out to drag somebody else to come and dance with Groovy. So I feel like it's something that you guys plan. Official Crush is saying, Ilibaya should be grateful to Chichi. Imagine if she didn't have that confrontation with Chichi. She would have been a furniture as always in the reunion. You step on her clothes in the house, then at Pepsi Tax, Chichi has really grown because words. Well, the furniture part, you know, I, I really, I find it funny when people are saying, if not because of this, you won't have highlights. Like, it's because of it, they are there. Elibaye had issues with Brian, hotter, a heated argument with Brian, she had with um, beauty, so it's not just about that. But fans will always want to say what makes them feel good. Elibaye still has a lot of growing up to do. I agree. I agree. After eight months, I did not see any growth. True? Elibaye asking Chichi, who are you? Chichi is the trophy girl, child of grace, and a finalist by merit. <clears throat> okay, hype your fave however you want to. It's allowed. Of course, that is why you're a fave, right? That is why they are your fave, I mean to say. Okay, um, 
So, um, Kara is saying, you all are crazy. What Elibaya did was so bad that even Groovy was mad at about it. It was the day Fina asked Groovy to manage her. He had to apologize to Chichi, but as usual, Chichi is the bad guy. Well, this manage meeting, everybody keeps talking. Please, did Fina actually say Groovy manage me like verbatim? Or are we deducing from a statement she made? Because I keep seeing this manage meeting. Maybe I show me clip now. Eh? Make us see. Um, ah, my Chichi stays giving the dead and the forgetting highlights. That night in question, irrelevant Ilebaye planned with Fina to fight Chichi at the party. So why is she acting like she didn't step on Chichi on a purpose? She even pushed her and went to play victim. You know the thing is that these things have happened in the house. Okay? And remember, we all believe it's a game if you tell us it's a game. But coming out to be defending rubbish is another thing. You know, that's what makes it funny. But... Well, Elibaya is still pro provocative and always hiding it behind stupid apologies. I agree with this 100%. After that, you just be stepping on me anyhow and be telling me sorry. So I should just be, I should just be enduring the pain of your, your pointed heels and just collect sorry in return. Elibaya needs to grow up. You stepped on someone, poured drink too on her, and you are saying she should have accepted half-assed apology. Is she obligated to do that? Because I remember when Chichi was still trying to explain to Ebuka her own part of the story. Elibaya just muttered behind her, you should have accepted that apology. And Chichi is like, girl, you're not going to tell anybody when to accept your apology. You wrong people, you apologize. It's left for them to accept it or not. And depending on how the apology is presented, do you get that? Well, Esther thinks Chichi is actually saying the truth, the whole Ilibaye stuff looked like it was planned. Okay, Ilibaye that not one single brand found her, found worthy for her to represent them. Is asking Chichi, who are you? Anybody can actually ask anybody, who are you, right? How many brand Chichi don't sign? It doesn't make her um, Ilibaye less of a human or Chichi more of a human. Let's just know that Chichi is a finalist. Probably Ilibaye didn't get to the final, so of course you can explain that. Um, Modela's hair is stressing me. The picture this person added is what got me up. But the thing is that when we see Modela, if you follow Modela on Instagram, when she does all those are dress up, you know, they say Modela with the body, she has the body, she doesn't wear those horrible wigs. But whenever I'm beginning to think she's doing it intentional. Whatever it has to do with Big Brother, Modela's front has always closing her eyes, her fringe are almost getting to her mouth, and you know, people are not having it. Ilibaya trying so hard to trend, but Chichi didn't allow her to trend with her name. Well, how is Chichi supposed to do that? Ilibaya was trending, because that is why people are tweeting all this thing about Ilibaya. So Ilibaya trended for that, okay? <laughs> Ilibaya stopped lying because before the party, we saw you planning with Fina to provoke Chichi. Why do the, okay, why do these housemates keep gaslighting Chichi? Such a pathetic liar. Okay, we see that. We see that. We see that in this reunion, um, not like they are gaslighting Chichi. Some part of it too, Chichi refused to own responsibilities to what she had done. The ones I see that the wrong that I spell it out, but where she has an issue, I will still say it. That's the truth. The part where she did some things, like when she talked about Chomzi, she didn't even want to own up. She told Bella that. Uh, everybody can be wrong, doing you wrong, I mean, in a show, and you did nothing. You know, be Santa Webber now. Anyway, let's see. Uh, my highlight tonight, the week slayer. <laughs> To the extent they finally gave Modella the wig slayer. Modella the slay wig got a vegetable. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you on day 8. Bye.